Hey everyone, my name is Aaron Redbird Speed. Today we're going to be talking about the Big Ford New Style Torino Housing Inn, sometimes called the Late Ford. So what this is, this is this part on the end of your axle tube right here, this piece right here. So that housing end is going to be what takes your bearing. So your axle and your bearing are going to come in here. That's going to be your bearing pocket. You got T-bolts that come out through here. That's how you secure your brakes on and essentially bolt your brakes on and retain your axle in and your bearing rides in here. So this big Ford new style Trino and the dimensions aren't, let's talk some numbers here. Up and down, two and three eighths up down center to center on the holes takes a three eighths T-bolt. Across the top and bottom, three and a half inches center hole to center hole. The bearing, three 150 OD bearing, and this can be a one piece ball bearing like an 88 128. Uh, there are a lot of aftermarket bearings with O-rings around the outside, or you could use a Timken set 20 two piece tapered roller bearing, so you have options there. Now, one thing about this housing in industry standard is a two and a half inch offset. So that's kind of nice because all the rear end manufacturers make the axles two and a half inch offset, brake manufacturers make it two and a half inch offset. So when you get these parts, you know, they're going to bolt right up. So it just keeps everything industry standard. Everybody's on the same page. Parts work together and fall in place. That's what we all want. So let's talk about applications for this. Let's say you have a Let's say you have a mini tubbed 69 Camaro. You took you want to take an inch out of each side on the rear end. Factory 69 Camaro 60 inch wheel to wheel. You say I want it to be 58 inches wheel to wheel. I've got a very common mini tub kit from a big name supplier and I need a 58 inches wheel to wheel. Okay. So you can already figure here, let's draw some axles in here. All right, got your axles installed. Draw some brakes on here. Okay, I got your rotors on there. So 58 inches wheel to wheel. You can already figure in a quarter inch per side for your rotor thickness. Okay, so we go minus quarter, minus a quarter. Now we're at 57 and one half. That's axle face to axle face with axles installed. Now you got to subtract this axle stick out. So from the outside of the axle face to the housing end right here, that's your two and a half inch offset per side. So 57 and a half minus two and a half minus two and a half equals a 52 and a half inch wide housing. So you figure you figure no axles, no brakes, this housing right here, housing end to housing end, 52 and a half, right? Add your brake offset to that, plus two and a half, plus two and a half. You add your rotors to that, plus quarter inch, plus quarter inch. So, talking about our rotors on the outside here. Now we're all the way back out to here, to here. Total wheel to wheel, 58 inches. So it's kind of working outside in, inside out on a custom rear end. So it kind of shows you how people come up with these dimensions. So, so we talked a little bit about 
starting out with a wheel to wheel, subtracting your brake offset, subtracting your rotor thickness, coming up with a housing length, kind of why, why they use this option. You got options for bearings, you got options. Every brake manufacturer makes kits to fit the big Ford new style Trino. So really opens it up. It's convenient. It's why everybody does it. So if you have any questions, if you'd like to talk about this, want to talk about brakes, talk about how this all mates up together, reach out to us. 260-301-2424, redbirdspeed.com. You can hit us up on here, whatever works for you. Drop us a comment. Any questions, don't be afraid to reach out. We appreciate your support. Be sure to give us a subscribe. Hey, have a good day.